Hey, man, it's been such a great conversation just catching up with you. Like I say, James, I'm so proud of you. Um, as, as we wrap this amazing conversation, um, I was going to ask you about jobs. You, people are continuously talking about jobs. Like, what's your take on jobs in College Park? And how can we bring more jobs to City of College Park? Or, and I'll leave it there because I don't want to take your thunder. But mm -hmm. No, uh, that's a good question. Um, you know, the job market seems to be okay. But when you talk about jobs, you want to talk about affordable living wages. I don't think real jobs, real, yeah. real jobs. I don't think people can live off of $15 an hour or maybe even $20 an hour. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it depends on your circumstances, perhaps 20. But um, in order to have affordable wages, you got to have businesses that can pay you affordable wages mm -hmm. and that goes back to my economic development initiative uh, we have to have businesses restaurants shops uh industries in college park coming back to college park that could afford to pay the wages when you go to buckhead bartenders make six figures in buckhead bartenders are killing it they're killing it uh waiters and they, waiters they, they make money i have a friend of mine he, right now he, he he works at Chops. Uh, he works at uh, Bones. Okay. In Buckhead. You're familiar with Bones. I know. Who, I got you. I got you back. He make he has made upwards of two to three hundred thousand dollars in one year being a waiter. So my whole point is that when we have the businesses that can sustain wages That's real. of that magnitude, people will come back to College Park. Atlanta Fish Market three weeks ago. People, you know, I, I have a gift. People will tell me their life journey. Yeah, yeah. The gentleman that I just met was telling me he's making close to a hundred thousand dollars. That, that's it. You can. And he that. came from South City Kitchen, mm -hmm. went over to mm -hmm. Atlanta Fish Market. Why can't we have that here? Six figure. Yeah. Why can't we have that here in College Park? There are restaurants here. Don't get right. me wrong. Nice restaurants, but they aren't able to pay the wages or or the the, the tips. You know. Um, they don't get the tips, the wages that they need to uh, to live right. the way they want to live in College Park. Like I said, housing is, is unaffordable here right now. So, James, what are we going to do? Man? Gotta I do have it. To what what, well, we we, have to what do you see? It. We have to change we, the ground up. First of all, Torrance, we have got to go through line item, line item, find out where we can cut spending, okay. cut government waste, get our taxes um, to where... Either they are lowered or they are commensurate to our services. Okay. Um, we have to have breaks for the seniors. Breaks for our senior citizens are, are most vulnerable. We have to have uh, safe neighborhoods. Public safety has got to be a priority in College Park. Yes. If you don't have that, nobody's going to come back to College Park. Not with the stats being, being that they are. Number one in crime. The most dangerous city living in Georgia. That doesn't look well to anybody. Is there is there a camera system? I know a lot of the municipalities are upgrading their camera systems. And they have them. I'm told that they are not uh, the most current and that we need more. Obviously, you can't have enough cameras uh, to help the police do Facial their job. Facial recognition to help. Right. And more streetlights, things that are low-hanging fruit, things that we can do to help deter crime. Right. Uh, more neighborhood watches. Get the community involved teach them how to get involved to help be the eyes and ears of the few good men and women we have out here on our streets right now. So you got to get that. And then, Torch, you got to bring College Park together. It is so divided. Nobody's talking to anybody. Everybody's making assumptions, some true, some not true. Right, right. Uh, but, you know, we're all saying the same thing, but we're talking different languages. One's talking French, German, Spanish, <laughs> and, and we can't understand each other. You have to have an administration, a, a, a mayor that can talk to everybody. Right. This current administration cannot. I mean, just being I, I, so. Point, let's let's have like, a real conversation, though, James. Uh, sometimes people are untouchable or unreachable. Mm -hmm. uh, will you be reachable so that, or will you have an uh, outreach initial or way for people to mm -hmm. make say like this? Talk I'm, to us. I'm, I'm the mayor that everybody knows. I was feeding the police officers before I even started running for mayor. Right. I was out sitting in my yard. I meet neighbors every day. I'm known throughout College Park. I'm blessed to have a house that sits right on the corner, right by the park. So I see mostly everybody come over here. So I'm not 
trying to get known. Like I said, I'm I didn't come here. I'm from here. Right. Oh, put that on a T-shirt. Jay. I didn't come here. I'm from here. <laughs> so people know me in College right. Park. Right. I have roots in this dirt. That's awesome, man. My parents are here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm more accessible than than just about any public person you would know in office right That's now. Awesome. So people do know me. They know where I live. They, I, everybody has my cell phone number. I've had the same number for the last 25, 30 years, man. People know how to reach me. I'm a member of the That's Georgia Bar, so I'm not hard to find. Right. So if I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do, come holler at me. Yeah. Okay. Feedback's important. I'm, I'm telling it. you, I feedback is important. <laughs> so I'm here, and, and so I, I would want to get these things done, and we have to walk and chew gum at the same time. We don't have a lot of time because we are so far behind with what we should be economically, fiscally, uh, in, in, in the unity of College Park, and, you know, in transparency in government. I mean, we are behind the A-ball when we compare ourselves to Hateville in, in, in the progressive nature of our cities. Hateville's killing it. I love the restaurant game and that Hateville's bringing. You remember a time when Hateville was not so progressive? I, I love the energy. And I can see that happening at College Park. Why can't we have it? I've gone to the recent brunch spot, mm -hmm. breakfast spot mm -hmm. um, in College Park. Mm -hmm. Breakfast Boys? Breakfast Boys. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. Like, anyway. Yeah, great step. Walk, walk me through, how, how do you envision that uh, downtown area? Well, first Historic of all, downtown area first of all, let me tell you, we don't have enough parking. And and I don't know when they were designed. I don't think somebody really thought that. Hey man, Marietta Square don't have a lot of parking. <laughs> but but guess what though? You can you have a lot of foot traffic. We don't have. So right. what I would like to do is have an experimental couple months where we shut down traffic during in that square, reroute traffic around the back city halls to other parking lots, so we have foot traffic. So we can bring in food trucks. We can bring in farmers markets. We can bring in local people who have their own shops and, and their own pop-up restaurants to have the, almost like a like a Bourbon Street feel to kind of have people that'd walking be, that'd around. Be, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. The people, you know, you park here and then you walk. And then you go and meet everybody and, and you know, vendors come out. Y'all are ready for it. We're ready and, for and, it. And We've more importantly, the it. people are, are, wait, are waiting for it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we have the potential to be great again in Cos Park. We have the potential to be that elite city that we were once again. We have the potential to be that shining city in South Fulton that everybody aspires to be like. Not one that's chasing, but one that's leading. I love it. Uh, it, is, is, it is a little disheartening to hear uh, cities like Stonecrest having their own city and, and having some challenges. South Fulton, every, everybody fighting. Right. That drives me crazy when I yeah. think of politics, Jay. Yeah. So I, I, I'm, I'm um, prayerful that you're, you know, once you become mayor, man, you'll be the glue that puts everything together and people can really, you can li truly lead as designed. You know like what I mean? You said that once I become mayor. Once you become mayor, lead as so. designed. Um, so I could go on and on with my visions because I'm, I'm an Atlanta native and I've uh, got the chance to see a lot of the cities in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm excited for you, brother. But bring us, bring us home for us, James. Like, what can, what can, what are you definitely gonna make happen, and 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 not rest until it happens? I will not rest until everybody in College Park is unified. I will not rest until we have safe streets, we have clean streets. I will not rest until we have the economic development and sustainability that we deserve, mm -hmm. that we once had, I will not rest until our children are, are, are put in the forefront and thought about strategically cared for and looked after. I will not rest until we have the college park that people aspire to be like, the city that people aspire to, to be like, and not the one that's looking, you know, ahead, following. We need to be leaders in College Park in every area. We are the gateway. We are the gateway to this great place that we live. Atlanta, Georgia, we, we, we come through College Park. The airport is right there. The world's largest airport. The captive audience is there every single day. 
why you have to come through College Park to go somewhere else is baffling. You should come to College Park and stay in College Park. I love it. To live, to work, to play. That's it. There it is. And feel safe. All right, brother. Well, look. Seriously, more like more than just saying it, like I'm really proud of you, man. I appreciate it. Man. It's gonna happen. We're gonna so, do it. I need your help. I need everybody's help and support. Yeah, get, get, you get, guys gotta get out and vote. Uh, like I said, November 7th is the election date, and uh, October 16th is early voting day. So, uh, more coming from James Walker. Um, Go to my website, sign up, volunteer, donations, whatever you need. www.voteforwalker.com. That's vote, the number four, walker.com. That's it. All right. Thank you. All right, you're welcome, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs>